Hey everyone, Joe Lancer. Today we're at the famous Shady Maple Smorgasbord in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Here are my good friend, Mr. Aaron. So guys, if you're not familiar, this is the biggest buffet in America. There is a crazy lineup. Like, look at all these people. And this thing goes out the door all the way like down. So we didn't anticipate coming here on a Saturday at dinner time. We should have known better. We'll be so busy, but nonetheless, here we are. Uh, so hopefully we'll get in sooner than later. We're gonna have lots of eating to do. They do close in about an hour and 45 minutes. So this should be fun though, guys. Today they're featuring things like brisket, fried chicken, Cajun catfish. I don't know, this is supposed to be awesome. I'm sure it will be, so I'm super excited. So with that, let's go eat some food. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor for this video being Bispoke. So Bispoke is a monthly membership delivering top shelf items from under the radar companies. It's actually free to join and each month they will deliver you cool items. In fact, 90% of the items are coming from small businesses, many of which are based in the United States. So I got the Tender, the Scorch, and the Weekender. Weekender gave me this awesome looking bag. Tender gave me a meat tenderizer, also a lovely knife and thermometer. And the Scorch gave me an awesome variety of different hot sauces. So of course you actually only pay for what you want. You can go on their website, take their quiz, give them your preferences. They're gonna send you some items. However, before it is shipped, you are gonna get a preview of the box so you can actually decide to keep it. You can decide if you want a different box. Or you can skip the month entirely at no charge. I really like Bispoke because it gives me really cool items that I actually get to use day to day. And ultimately, right now, you can get 20% off your first box. Yes, 20% off your first box by using my code HANSON20. Yes, HANSON20 to save 20% off your first Bispoke box today. So definitely click that link down below, use that code, and with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hi everyone, so we got some food. I'm super, super excited. Aaron, you ready to eat, my friend? I'm so ready to eat. Yeah, so basically to start off, I got some of my favorites. I got some uh, green peppers, I got some little baby tomatoes, I got some carrots. I just put coleslaw all over. I love coleslaw, I just want to throw it on there. I also have some Cajun catfish, guys. It's one of the specials tonight. Let's see if it'll not focus on the face and focus on the food. But I will say I absolutely love, 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 love Cajun catfish. I love everything. Uh, I love catfish in general. This looks fantastic. I also got some brisket. Yes, you know I love brisket. This is one of the specials today. I got some of the roast beef. I got some fried chicken. I got some beans as well. I love vegetables. Aaron, what do you got, my friend? All right, so I got a burger. Burger. I got some brisket. I got a little piece of turkey there. And underneath the burger is a steak. New York ah. strip steak. Um, that was one of the specials today. Yeah, yeah. And here I got some wings, uh, some more roast beef, another steak with onions. Nice. Very excited. Looks delicious. Lots of steak, man. All right. Well, anyway, I'm uh, I'm pumped. That is definitely for sure. Um, so that I don't know. Just we'll have our first bites here at the Shady Maple Smorgasbord. Start with the wings. Get rid of my gum. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start with some. That ghost pepper Probably, sauce. Probably, yeah, yeah, there's a, they have a whole bunch of hot sauces. They have like normal ones, ghost pepper sauce. I'm gonna start with a bite of coleslaw. Mm. Mm. Nice minced coleslaw. I'm gonna grab this catfish. I love catfish. Mmm. Woo! Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
that old bay? Mm. It's a fried catfish. Not like deep fried, not batter. It's like a pan fried. And it's damn good. I'm totally cool with that. Mm. Get some healthy veggies. Yeah, the How's wings, they're small, but they're tasty. Especially with this ghost pepper sauce. It's got a nice little kick to it. Is it hot? It's a little spicy, but not not crazy. Uh, it won't be burning your face off. I'm definitely going to have to try some of that. I have right here. I'm definitely going to have it like the, uh, the fried chicken. But in the meantime, i got to get some of these healthy vegetables in. I always go for the vegetables first. I was gonna wait till I finished just to, to move on, but I gotta try some of this brisket, guys. It is just, just look at that. I got like the fattier part. A little focus. Not on Aaron's face. Get out of there. Aaron's face, get out of there. Oh, there you go, guys. Look at that brisket. Just look at that. That just looks absolutely beautiful. I just gotta give it a go. Mmm. Oh. Ooh. It's a super tender, it's Ooh. tasty. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Oh man. So there's a, a nice light smoke to it. It still has quite a bit of texture, but it's not overcooked, it's not undercooked. The nice fatty portion on there. Mm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh man. Woo it's definitely fork tender. It is very, very good. And the best thing is there's a lot more where it came from. It's all you can eat. Here I have a piece of their famous roast beef they caught. Again, yeah, the camera on Aaron's face. Look at the beef. Aaron's face is beautiful, but the beef is more beautiful today. Sorry, Aaron, no offense. Don't take it. So with this um, Roast beef, it looks very tender. It looks very soft. I bet it's just gonna melt in my mouth, so. Mm. 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 Definitely get some onion, some garlic powder. It is soft, but it's not like pudding soft. It's good, it's not bad. It definitely cooked like to a point where it just falls apart. Not bad. Not bad. And this bean melody. Lime beans, black beans, string beans. Lots of butter. That's one thing. I'm feeling a lot of dishes here. I cooked pretty homemade. And uh, I don't think they care about the calories. Nope. What are you into, man? Right now I'm digging into the New York strip steak. Um, they asked me how I wanted it done. I just said, whatever you got. So this one looks like it's maybe a little bit of a medium. It has a nice pink inside still, that's good. Yeah. Especially when the steaks are thinner. Oh, it's good to see. Oh. See a little something, something? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that brisket. <laughs> Go for the taste test. Mm. Yeah, try that steak. Gonna try with a little bit of these caramelized onions. How's that first bite? Super delicious. It's good. It hits the spot. Onion steak. Hard to go wrong. Exactly. What I am excited to get out to. I gotta try this fried chicken. There you go. I'm a big fried chicken person. Fried chicken to me is just like, you know, if you do it right, you do it right. It looks, it looks pretty crispy. Um, I got to think I got a breast. So I'm just trying to bite all about that breast action. Mmm. Oh, man. Dude, do you like fried chicken? Of course. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. It is juicy. 
the, the flavoring in that batter is fantastic. It's a very strong flavor, very flavorful. Nice bit of salt, just that seasoning. I am totally cool with that. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of that Louisiana style hot sauce. Delicious as I would expect. I'll try a little bit of ghost pepper sauce. Yeah, you'll like that. Maybe that's a lot of it, but. No, it's good enough. You go a little bit heavier with it if you want. It definitely has a little bit of heat, but it's not that bad, that bad. It has a very, very strong, like, cumin flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that fried chicken is very good. I'll definitely be getting some more of that. All right, so I got back with some more items. Aaron has some, going to get some as well. Um, so what I got, guys, I new things. I got a salmon cake. I got a meatball. Uh, I have, again, some more of their brisket. I have the fried chicken, which looks awesome this time. I got a big old leg. You some giant pieces, some giant legs. There's some more of that salmon cake, the meatball. And then here I have some more of the catfish. I thoroughly enjoyed the catfish the first time. And then I got some green beans and some broccoli. New items for me to try. Have green beans. Heavily buttered green beans. That's what you'd expect. But now, let's try this meatball. This will be good. Got a bit of like ketchup on there or something. Mm. Woo! So this is like a sweet chili sauce. It's about very soft, very tender. I definitely say there's like some beef and pork in that. We dive in this salmon cake. The salmon cake looks pretty damn good too. Mm. Oh wow, lots of lemon. Definitely some pepper, lemon, pepper, salmon, some great fresh seafood flavors. Some chives. Mm. I dig. Very, very good. Get back onto this cage and catfish, guys. Catfish with Old Bay. Mm. Oh, mmm. Damn, I love Old Bay, guys. I love catfish. It's a sweet fish. A little bit like a natural oil to it. Mm. That Old Bay just brings out just the succulent, like, saltiness of that meat. Mm. Mm. So soft, so tender. I'm going to get some of this brisket. So now he was definitely under the leaner portion of the brisket. This time, I definitely taste the difference. I do prefer the fattier portions. They did have an au jus up there with the brisket, but I, for the first time I didn't eat it. This time I probably won a little bit. But I'll salt it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smoked meat, guys. I'm gonna come for, in for a nice bite of this, this little chicken egg. Mm. It's good. That breading has really good flavor, though. Really nice crisp on this piece. This is a thigh. The little bit of hot sauce is such a nice addition. All right, so Aaron actually just had like a big plate of like mixed items. Uh, he, he and he has, they have slushies too. He got a slushie, like a Slurpee, which is pretty interesting. Um, I know you said you're gonna grab some more items, so yes. I'll definitely be back here when you're back. We kind of missed each other on that last round, but enjoy your food. Or awesome. I'll, I'll be. You enjoy your. Food. I'll be here. So I got a couple more of the uh, meatballs. I really like those. I got some more of the brisket, guys. We got some good cuts of the brisket again, which is awesome. 
I also got a piece of turkey, um, and I got a steak. I got one of their steaks, their New York strip steaks, which is something new for me. And then um, I also, on the new additions on this, besides kind of just a typical salad, I got some of they call chow chow, which is like a pickled vegetable mix, and then we have some uh, Brussels sprouts. They also have like unlimited fountains, uh, sodas, teas, and coffees, meatball. Very nicely flavored, very tender. Italian seasonings. All right. The steak, I'm very curious to try. I could have grabbed a steak knife, I did not. But this is cooked about a, cooked about like a medium, medium rare, which is about what I wanted it. Hmm. Not bad. Did you put a little bit of a seasoning on that? But it's pretty good. It's good. It's um, it's not a bad quality. I was not sure what it was going to be like. Is there thinner cuts? But it's good. I recommend. Try some turkey. Not bad. Brussels sprouts are definitely al dente. Crunch them. And just butter. They're sitting in water and butter. Not a bad thing. Try this chow chow. Mm. Carrots, beans, celery, cucumbers. It's a sweeter mix. It reminds me of like a bread and butter. What we got, my friend? All right, so my plates are starting to get a little bit smaller because I want to start saving some space for dessert. Yeah, I don't blame you, dessert. So, I got some random stuff here. What do you have? Yeah, I'm going to get into that. <laughs> so here we have some corn fritters, which are really good. Corn fritters. Just some mashed potatoes with gravy. Mashed potatoes. Some rice. Rice. A meatball, meatball, which is delicious. Some green beans, green beans, baked lima beans, baked lima beans. Okay. And this red thing is a red egg. What? Red egg? Yeah, I have no idea what that means. So we're gonna find out. Yeah, we will find out what a red egg means. Right. About that, that's something I'm not familiar with. A red egg. Me neither. How smart are those fatty brisket guys? Is like the nice fatty portion. Beautiful. Red egg looks pretty interesting. Mm. Oh. Oh, no. good. It looks like an egg that's been it's like marinated in red pickled something. With like beets or something. Yeah, pickled maybe. egg maybe. Hmm. How do you define a red egg? It's a little bit sweet. It doesn't have a pickled flavor. No? I have no idea how they got it red or what the sweetness is. But, you know, tastes like a regular hard-boiled egg. Really? Yeah. So, marinated eggs, guys. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> now this fatty part of the brisket, you guys. It is also oh tender, watch this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh. That is what makes me love beef. Too tender, too good. Mm -hmm. 
I gotta get some more of that. I assume they're still in that fatty part. Oh man. Game changer. I just love brisket. I love beef. Oh man. It is just too, too, too good, guys. And it is so juicy, so greasy, slippery. Mm. Oh, man. Last time I'm going to show you, I promise, guys. But look at, this, look at all the fat. Look at all the fat lines in there. Mm. Now, would you say that's your favorite Ooh. thing you've had so far? My favorite thing is definitely the brisket. Yeah. Mm. The fatty one. When I had the lean portion, it wasn't the same, but the fatty brisket, 10 out of 10. All right, so I got some more of the bean melody. I got a piece of fried chicken. Got some more catfish. I got a uh, salmon cake again. What's new is I got a crab cake and I got some barbecue pork. Aaron got some nice looking desserts here. Yes. What do you have going on there, brother? Wow. Okay. This is a warm apple dumpling that I put a little bit of whipped cream warm on. Warm apple dumpling. So that, 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 that must be like a Dutch thing. I don't know. Because um, we saw them at Reading Terminal Market too. Yes, indeed. Here's some rice pudding with an eclair. Rice pudding? Thing. Nice. Yeah, I was like, why not? This is interesting. Some kind of a cheesecake that is purple. Probably blueberry? Maybe. We'll find out. And I got something called shoe fly pie, which I've never What had is that? Before. It looks like pecan, maybe? With like a crumble on top. Mm. Looks good, though. It looks very good. That to me looks like really, really good. Well, let's try it first. Yeah, enjoy. Crab cake. Mm. Mm. This is really good. Creamy. Chives. Crabby. <laughs> Crabby patty. <laughs> Should try that shoe fly pie. What does it taste like? I can't really put my finger on it. It's uh, a little bit of custardy in the middle. The crumble on top is really good. It's not overly sweet, which is really nice. Interesting. It's got good texture, but I, I can't really pinpoint what, what's inside of it. See, I thought it'd be very sweet. Based on how it looks? Yeah. Is it date? Date or raisin? You would think it would be dates, but it does, like dates are more gritty, I think. Mm -hmm. This isn't gritty at all. Oh, I'll have to ask them. There you go, guys. If you know what shoe fly pie is, comment down below. Fried chicken. I was going to get the fried chicken, but all the pieces are really large, and I didn't want to like fill up on eating chicken. Like, There's a lot that I wanted to try. The pieces are very big. They're a little picked over last time we went up, though. Purple cheesecake. Let's find out what purple cheesecake is. It's a black crust, too. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess blueberry. Maybe it's ube, but I think that's a little too... I'm going to say blueberry. Mm. Blueberry. Blueberry? Indeed. Good, though. It's rich. It's probably delicious, dude. Cheesecakes are... I love cheesecake. When they're good, they're freaking good. Gets my approval. Nice. And they had a soft serve ice cream machine, yeah? Yeah. I was thinking about putting that on top of the uh, the apple dumpling, but mm. I was like, I'd just rather eat the apple dumpling. Well, you got the ice cream there. Well, that's whipped cream, like oh. heavy whipped cream. Wait, that's whipped cream? Yeah. I thought that was ice cream. No. Wow. Dude, they put like, they put like a whole apple in there. So it's like a, it looks like a baked apple with a, like a, a dough a, filling. Yeah, pastry crust. 
Yeah. Hmm. It fell out of the pastry across, but it's like a dumpling. And the apple's a filling. Hmm. Barbecue pork's good too, actually. Definitely a braised pork shoulder with some, um, basically just barbecue sauce, but it's good. Get some more catfish. I'll probably do another round of like real food and then maybe hit some desserts. They all look really good though. Yeah. There's a huge assortment. Yeah, I mean, like countless pies, and I'm just worried about the timing. Yeah. That's why I was like, you want me to get you some? Because, uh, like, that shoe five. Pie, that shoe fly pie, like she didn't even put them out yet. Oh really? Like she was about to. And I was like, is that shoe fly pie? Can I try that? I said I'll quickly go grab some more food. On to desserts we go. I think that's a good place to uh, good place to go because we're running out of time. Crazy how busy this place was when we arrived. It took us a lot longer to get in here than I anticipated, but nonetheless. Yep. I just grabbed some uh, coleslaw, some meatballs, some brisket, some broccoli. They are really starting to kind of close this place down. It is 8 o'clock, um, and then, but the grills are apparently open for 30 more minutes. Then I have some pies here. I have some Samoa. I have some pumpkin. I have some eclair and some egg custard. That is a full plate of freaking custards. I don't even know, like puddings, whatever you want to call them. Yep. So I'm going to dive through some of this. We'll get to that. Aaron, what was, how was the desserts, ma'am? I'm still working on the apple dumpling, which is really good. I sprinkled also some uh, dead hot chocolate syrup I put on there. Um, I'm just super full. It's very, a lot of heavy food, a lot of butter, I would say. They put in a lot of these. Yeah, they're not watching calories on any of these items. No, no. So, I mean, everything that I be in, I'm feeling the effects of being full. It's good though. Desserts are probably some of my favorite here. Yeah. Like, the dinner was good, like the meats and everything, the briskets were good. The, um, everything was pretty darn good, but I really like the desserts. I'm usually a savory guy over a sweet guy, but I love apple dumplings. This is super good. Oh man, it's more of that fatty, fatty, juicy, drippy brisket. <sighs> a little quite a bit of food though. I'm definitely filling up as well. Yeah. Mm. You still got that giant plate of dessert. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Looks good though. This is very good. All right, so I went to go find the bathroom. Uh, it didn't happen. Let's just say I got sidetracked with dessert. So here I got a big old ice cream sundae with hot caramel, marshmallow sauce, Oreos, and Reese's Pieces. This is luscious. This is a, a peanut butter cup pudding. And then, of course, all these other, like, pound and a half, two pounds of pudding I have. What's that? Yeah, it feels soft pound. That is heavy. I'll probably start with this ice cream because it's melting. Soft serve, a little melty ish. Mm. Ooh -wee. Oh man. Oreo. Peanut butter. Can't go wrong. Caramel. Oh. Mm. Oh man. Ooh, that just does things. Mm -mm -mm. I will say, I would probably would have liked another half an hour with the real food on the buffet, but Aaron said he likes the dessert, so I got to dive into desserts. I exactly. did see I did see the Dutch apple up there. It's officially 8.32, so we're going to be losing our, our items here soon, but I saw Dutch apple. Yeah. I need to, I, I didn't really see the cheesecake. I'll take a better look. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, man. This Sunday is too good. It's really sweet though, all the caramel. Probably should try to eat these puddings with a. Uh, okay? mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. What exactly is in shoe fly 
shoe fi um, shoe fly pie. I would say molasses, sugar, maybe some flour. Yeah. Okay. Besides that, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's only could, a couple ingredients. I couldn't figure out what like the custard inside was. It's not really custard, but just like the filling. It's kind of like a mixture yeah. of molasses and sugar. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Molasses. I like it. Yeah. That was my first time having it. I thought Did it was you good. Like it? Yeah. Yeah. I was it's heard a, of it. Traditional, yeah. Uh, pie. Lancaster yeah. pie. Yeah. So it's a local you thing. Might not find one of other <laughs> you know, cool. It's very Lancaster County-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Shoe fly pie. There you go, Lancaster County. All right, dude. That peanut butter uh, pie, peanut butter cup pie or pudding, delicious. I'm calling these pies. I don't know if that's what they call them because they're like also whipped and light. This one's pumpkin. Yeah, I want to say they're like custards. Mm. Mm. Oh man, it's almost like a whipped cream. It's like a mousse. Mm. Mm. Super smooth. That's really how it is. Watch this. Mm. Pumpkin's not bad. Not as sweet. Egg. This is called an egg custard. Mm, not my favorite. Very interesting. You said you had this eclair. It was good, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. Peanuts. Chocolate. Pretty good. Ooh. And this is Samoa, which, if I'm not mistaken, is like chocolate, caramel, coconut. Mm. Mm. That's exactly what that is. Super creamy. Reminds me of coconut cream pie in a way. Just a little different. This is delicious. I'm basically eating mouthfuls of caramel, cookies, and chocolate. How can you complain? Oh, mm, that bite. All right, if you want anything else, you better go act quick. I uh, got another luscious ice cream sundae. Um, funny thing is, the ice cream's actually different on one side of the buffet to the other. But here I got some more uh, ice cream. This one looks a little more like a creamier one. Again, got caramel sauce, I got peanut butter sauce, marshmallows, Oreos, Reese pieces. I did try a bit, little piece of the shoe fly pie that Aaron had earlier, shoe fly pie. I then got a part of a uh, apple dumpling, and then I got some coconut custard pies, or whatever you want to call that. So I'll start with probably the coconut custard pie. Hmm. So it kind of reminds me of that, like, the egg custard I had. But I like the toasted coconut aspect. But admittedly, the egg custard does carry, like, a little bit of an egg taste. Try apple dumpling, which is, like, soaked in, like, a sugar caramel sauce. Baked apple. Pastry on it. Very good. That cinnamon. Kind of like a, I'd say a constructed apple crisp. Or kind of like an apple pie. And lastly, shoe fly pie. Hmm. I see what Aaron was saying. It's not like one distinct, like overly identifiable flavor. It's just kind of like sweet. Molasses. I do eat a little bit of molasses. I mean, the ingredients are pretty much sugar and sugar, and it tastes like sugar. But it's just true. It's like, even like the soft serves from the two different sides are different. This one's creamier. Welcome back. Thank you. I tried the shoe fly pie. You went up, got it? I tried it. Nice. It's pretty good. I tried the, uh, the apple dumpling as well. Um, nice. I think I tried everything that you did, pretty much. Yeah. I tried a uh, coconut uh, custard pie. Impression. Darn, Joel, it's gone for like a whole like 
four minutes. <laughs> what can I say? Well, we're pretty much the last ones in here, aka yeah. we are. We shut it down. We literally shut it down. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. You said you love root beer. Yeah, like I go dry root beer. Eight different kinds of root beer. Yeah, I got I got some. Yeah, it's good. And birch beer. Mm -hmm. Got everything. Quite, quite a variety. Well, like I said, they're literally closed down. We're the last ones in here. Um, overall, Shady Maple, definitely a pretty cool spot. I would say uh, the first of the staff were really, really, really nice. So I have to give a huge thank you to all the staff. Definitely. Um, in regards to the like amount of items, there was definitely quite a good variety. Huge variety. Yeah, big, big variety. Um, it was interesting. I like one side of the buffet, although it very much mirrored the other side, was like there would be minute differences. Um, I think my favorite like meat of the day was the brisket. Mm. Specifically, when I got like the fattier pieces, but I knew that was kind of like my preference. Um, the fried chicken was good. The meatballs were really good as well. Uh, the desserts were good. I, I, I would say the interesting, like, I've never seen such a variety of like mousses or custards or puddings, whatever you want to call that. That was really cool. Um, ice cream was good. Hard to go wrong with that. Um, they have lots to do, lots of drinks. I have to give a shout out to that. Lots like, of drinks. All kinds of Pepsi products, but a whole bunch of like more local sodas, birch beers, root beers, uh, flavor enhanced waters. Um, Coffees, teas, yeah, the, the 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 slushies, the ices. Yeah. So yeah, definitely a cool experience. Uh, I would recommend stopping by, trying everything out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, Aaron, any final words? I mean, first off, everything was really good. Uh, my favorite was that red egg. Yeah. No, not at all. It was, <laughs> it was fine, but definitely not favorite. The corn fritters were really good. Corn if you fritters. Kept, if you come here. Check out the corn fritters. Um, everything was super good. Service was great. Super affordable. Dinner is like twenty four bucks or something. Twenty five bucks. Yeah, and breakfast I think it's only like ten or twelve, something like that. So I highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Cool to see the Amish people. It takes you out of your element a little bit. See them in their natural. Driving around. Yeah. We saw, some, uh, we saw some. We saw some horse and buggies on the roads, and Aaron said that was his first time seeing such. So I can yeah. just understand that. Yeah, really cool. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. And come on down to Shady Maple. And that's it. Eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. Wow. Everyone, we'll hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, until next time, I'll just say stay happy, all the hungry, happy eating. That's about it. So, finally, I come here. Lots of people recommend it coming to here. Finally, glad I finally got to do so. And huge thanks to Aaron for coming with me. Uh, Aaron lives very close, like an hour and a half away, and he has never been here. Never. In all of his existence. So no. glad to finally get here. And uh, that everyone, like I said, we're, we'll head on out. And uh, that was it. So till next time, have a lovely day. Ooh, all the way. You can do it. Like, I'll, do the, oh. I'll do the pop. Ready? Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.